My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. John chapter 1 verse number 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. In the beginning, when all creations were absent, and God was left alone, and no one knows where God appeared from. So we are talking about the ageless times, when angels didn't exist, when man didn't exist, when trees were nowhere to be found. He says, in those ageless times, there was one that was with God. And when you look at the Greek meaning of the with, and the word was with God, it means that the word stood before God. The word stood in front of God. And the word was with him until God decided to begin to make things. And the Bible says that there was nothing made that was made without the word. It looks like the only companion God had from eternity past, eternity present, and eternity future is something called words. And then when we look at the concept of creation, we see how God made good use of all that he had with him before he started creating. He didn't have to reach out to any other thing the bible said god created the heavens and the earth in the beginning god will never make anything that is chaotic so whatever happened to earth until the second creation was done only god knows but we know that the prophets ezekiel and the rest gives us a glimpse jeremiah also gives us a glimpse that there was there was an existence before Genesis chapter 1 verse number 2 and he said that the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the earth and the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the earth and then the verse number 3 the Bible said and God said so now after things were messed up and God wanted to create again God wanted to restructure life again he reached out to that which has been with him from the beginning. Words. Then he began to speak words. So that words would bring order one more time. So that words would produce new things again. If you read Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 3, he talks about it. That by faith... We believe and we know that these wells were framed by the word of God. And the things that we see came out of things that has never been seen. So we see from scriptures that when God wanted to create new things, he spoke. And then he didn't just create the new things. He spoke to the new things so that the new things will function in the purpose for which it was created. The Bible said he created the firmament and he said to the firmament, separate the waters above from the waters beneath. Purpose. He created the greater light and the lesser light and he said, this shall be for days, for seasons and this will separate day from night and the sun has been working from Genesis chapter 1 till today. Purpose. So the father did not just use words. He used words to bring establishment, dominion. Then when it got to man, 
in verse 26 of Genesis 1, the Bible said, He said, Let us make man in our own image. And not just in our image, but in our likeness. By image, we know God sees, so He has eyes. By image, we know that God has hands. Therefore, we also have hands. So we look like Him in that perspective. He has feet. And we look at ourselves and we also have feet. So we look like His image. But the question is, what is it about God's nature that we look like? He didn't just say we will, we, He should create us in His image, in His likeness, in His nature also. Then Genesis chapter 1, uh, chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 25 gives us the nature with which God revealed in creation. So if God wants you to be like Him in nature, then He gives us a glimpse of how He operates to make things work. And we saw one thing about God. Somebody says speaking. The man kept speaking words. Speaking words. And he was meticulous in everything he was saying. To make sure that everything he was saying was introducing something to this world. To bring order to the formless world. We are studying who this God is. My job is to teach you until you become like Jesus. And you can never neglect the mystery of speaking and still boast that you are like Jesus. There is something about words that you can't separate from who God is. Then he reveals the nature that man must adapt from him. And he reveals it through the process of creation. And God said, and God said, and God said. And after he created man in his image, he decided to bless man. Then he uses the same concept. The Bible said, and God blessed the male and female and said, multiply, subdue the earth and have dominion over the, the birds of the air, over the fishes of the sea, over the, the, the cattle that walk through the, the, the field. He said, and God said, have dominion. So he gives us the blessing he gives both the male and the female the blessing of dominion but he shows us how that blessing is going to operate in a man if he gave it to you by speaking then you should also exercise it by speaking then by genesis chapter 2 verse number 7 everything that he did in genesis chapter 1 it seems and it looks so plainly that it was a spiritual affair then he decides to transfer everything into the physical realm so that everything that is in the spirit can be handled in the physical then the bible said he made the heavens and the earth but there was no man on the earth therefore no plant has also appeared and dew were just falling and in the verse 7 the bible said he took the dust of the ground and he formed the man please hear me this is where the message is he formed the man and he breathed into the man I'm telling you how you can walk like your father here on earth he breathed into the man then the Bible said, verse 7 of Genesis chapter 2, so that everybody can read. And he said, man became a living soul. Somebody say, a living soul. Man became a living soul. And most of us just accept everything that comes to us yes man became a living soul man became a living soul and the question is that what is it about man that makes him living is it the breathing if it is the breathing then animals also breathe so what is it about man that made him the living soul then you you, you always have to 
try and search into how God spoke and how the original version was given and when you look into the primitive word in the Hebrew language of living soul living soul it is kalfa it comes from two words kalfa and kalfa means that a man became kalfa that means man became a speaking spirit that is how come he made many things at a time but have you realized that animals has got kidneys they've got liver they've got heart some have hands some have teeth they have almost everything we have but there is one thing they don't have the ability to speak they have the ability to make noise but they don't have the ability to compose statements that can evoke dominion noise don't command power it is meaningful words that commands power that is the nature of god he, God didn't just make noise. He spoke with specificity. Let there be light. And there was light. Let there be this. And there was that. And the Bible said he will see and say it is good. That is a process of life. Speaking comes before seeing. He spoke light. Light appeared. The Bible said he saw that it was good. The system in our humanity is that we wait to see something so we say it is good. But the system of God is that speaking makes you first a human being. You speak it, then you manifest and you see it and you see something that it is good. And this is where humans received our uniqueness. And to make it more dangerous and to help humans exercise more dominion by speaking. The Bible said God formed things from the dust. The cattle. The herbs. He formed everything from the dust. And the Bible said, He presented it to man. Now, try your dominion. I told you, I will give you dominion over the bears, over the cattle, over the plants. I'll give you dominion over things. But this is how the dominion is going to be exercised. I have made a lion. This is a lion. Now, if I declare the lion a lion, the lion must respond to me. But I am going to allow you, Adam, exercise your speaking power. And the Bible said that whatsoever name, that is the secret. The Bible said whatsoever name, Adam called the cattle. That was the name thereof. Listen, listen to me. That was the name thereof. And you know, the name in the Hebrew there means Shem. And the, and the meaning of Shem means that character, authority, honor. So when God said that, whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. That means that whatsoever character Adam placed on it, that was it. Whatsoever honor Adam placed on it, that was Am I here with the church at all? People don't just, listen, all that God was saying is that Adam you have the authority to make things happen by speaking and i give you the opportunity over all creation now whatever name in other words when you mention the name that will be the characteristics of that thing the bible says in genesis chapter 3 verse 20 that an adam called his wife eve and said because you are the mother of all living things this is how i choose to name you because this is how i choose to make you be I'm leading you there. I just want you to know that that attitude of speaking anyhow is your problem. When God spoke, the Bible said he saw that it was good. But you see, at a point in time, instead of man speaking God's words, man began to speak by their own understanding. After man ate the fruit, man began to operate by his own understanding. Because the spirit inside the man has been corrupted. So men began to speak unto death. Men began to speak unto destruction. Men began to speak unto condemnation. Men began to speak unto strife. Then the word of God that man has missed, 
I made you a speaking spirit so that you will share with me in speaking forth the word that has been with me from the beginning. But when the wisdom of men were corrupted, do you know why Adam named everything and the Bible said that that was the name thereof? That means that Adam could tap into the manifold wisdom of God to know because there is no way God will make a creation and not know the name. So as Adam was naming them, he was not speaking differently from what God is thinking. But when his spirit was corrupted, this time in Genesis chapter 6, the Bible says, and the imaginations of men were evil. And we all know that as a man thinketh, so is he. So man began to speak for the evil imaginations. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also, if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior, I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.